Hello students, hope all are fine. Today we will see a new chapter, a second chapter, chemical changes and chemical reaction. We will see the definition of chemical reaction. During chemical reaction, the existing bonds of atoms of the reactants are broken and new bonds are formed in resulting in formation of new substances that is products. When you take the reaction of nitrogen with oxygen, at 3000 degrees Celsius, nitrogen monoxide is formed. That means during the chemical reaction, the old bond breaks between the nitrogen atom and as well as the oxygen atom and the new bond of nitrogen and oxygen is formed. Now we will see what is chemical bonding. The linkage of force which acts between two atoms to hold them together as a stable molecule. So now during this new bond formation, what happens? The, some kind of force will exist there between the uh, two atoms to make them to hold together to form a stable molecule. See, we have seen so many external indications of chemical reaction. One is, that is change of color. We will see the change of color reaction now. See, in this copper nitrate salt, it is ink blue color. You take it in a dry test tube, do the heating. The color in the bottom of the test tube changes to black color and at the sides of the tube you can see dense reddish brown fumes are formed or liberated along with oxygen. So you can observe two changes here. One is the color change in color of the salt. The other one is you can see dense white reddish brown fumes of NO2 is liberated. Now in the second case it is a colorless salt which you are taking lead nitrate on heating this is also a dry test only it will change to lead oxide and reddish brown fumes or NO2 is liberated along with oxygen gas same reaction only but one salt we have given an example of colored salt the other one is a colorless so you can see in the bottom of the test tube that yellow lithage lithage means it's one kind of a residue so we have seen two examples. We will see how we are going to balance this equation. See here this is the odd number of oxygen which is present in copper oxide. So right to here. So here also the left hand side too. Now nitrogen changes to 4 right 4. The same thing we have to follow for the next equation. The second external indications of uh, chemical reactions of evolution of gas when you take sodium sulfide when you treat it with dilute sulfuric acid you will get that is sodium sulfate plus water plus sulfur dioxide gas is liberated so when you take calcium carbonate along with dilute hcl you are getting calcium chloride left out as carbonic acid so you will get water and carbon dioxide the previous case sulfuric acid so you are getting water and sulfur dioxide gas. Now the third case ammonium chloride with calcium hydroxide. You will get calcium chloride plus water plus ammonia. So when you observe this one whether it is sulfite or sulfate you are going to get sulfur dioxide gas. Carbonate means carbon dioxide gas. Ammonium salt means ammonia gas. So now Whatever acid which we are using here, different acid, it should be a diluted acid. So now we will see whether it is, how to balance this equation. That is first equation is self balance. The second one, it contains here two chlorine, so write two here, two hydrogen. And oxygen is three, here three, calcium one, calcium one. The third equation when you observe, see here it is two chlorine atoms. So we are writing two here. It becomes 2 nitrogen, so 2 ammonia. Now hydrogen, when you check, it's 8, 10. So here it is hydrogen 4 plus 6, 10. Now oxygen is 2, here it is 2, and calcium is 1. So this is how we have to balance the equation. Now the third external indication of chemical reaction is formation of PPT. See, when you take a lead nitrate salt along with sodium chloride, what happens? Sodium nitrate plus lead chloride is formed. 
actually these two salts are in solid condition so what we are going to do is make it as a aqueous solution aqueous solution means uh, see when you mix both the solid substances it doesn't react so make it as an aqueous solution and make the chemicals to react that so now what we are doing prepare an aqueous solution of lead nitrate you mix distilled water to this lead nitrate salt as well as to the sodium chloride salt uh, distilled water now when you add the sodium chloride aqueous solution to the aqueous solution of lead nitrate now the reaction undergoes you will get a white ppt of lead chloride see this nitrogen plus and negative of this nitrate will form a compound and this sun plus minus will form one compound now the next salt is copper sulfate so you know the color of copper sulfate is pale blue color so this this is also we have to take an aqueous solution of copper sulfate and treat it with sodium hydroxide solution now you will get sodium sulfate plus copper hydroxide as well now the ppt color will be pale blue ppt so this is how the reaction undergoes so the reaction undergoes only in the aqueous medium of this salts see the first one is a colorless salt the second one is a uh, colored salt of copper sulfate we have taken the fourth external indication which we are going to see here is exothermic endothermic reaction exothermic means that is evolution of heat endothermic means absorption of heat see nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen to form ammonia so you have learned this reaction that is name of process we call it as Haber's process now here by using the catalyst iron and promoter molybdenum and you have to maintain a temperature of 450 to 500 degrees celsius and a pressure of 800 to 900 atmospheric pressure it is lot of heat will be liberated it is evolved so we call this reaction as exothermic because we are indicating with a plus heat sign that is exothermic reaction the next reaction as we have seen in the beginning of this lesson that is nitrogen with the oxygen 3000 degrees celsius you are getting nitrogen monoxide see even if you maintain so much of temperature that much of heat is absorbed so it is an example of endothermic reaction we have seen four external indications of chemical reaction one is color change we have seen evolution of gas formation of ppt exothermic endothermic reaction thank you we will see in the next video clip the next part